I've got a question for you. What do you think your life would be like without movies? No Clint Eastwood or Marilyn Monroe. No Apocalypse Now. No Easy Rider or E.T. No Pulp Fiction or even Borat. Seriously, just think about it for a minute. If you've never heard of Kickstarter, it's a website that lets independent projects, like our film, try to raise a specific amount of money in a set amount of time. If we don't hit our goal, then your credit card never gets charged. But if we do hit our goal, the film gets new life and you get some awesome prizes that are just down there on the right hand side of the page. I'm coming to you from this Kickstarter thing because we're raising money for our second feature film, Coyote Requiem. My partner in filmmaking is Jason LaHell, and he's written and directed both of the films that we've worked on together so far. So, what would your life look like without movies? What would your life look like without any of the arts? Since the very first cave drawings, the arts have been vital to our evolution. You know, who are we? Where are we going? Now, Jason and I, we choose to create films that are entertaining, beautiful to look at. But most importantly, they're meant to stir your soul. However, here in the U.S., the commercial sector doesn't give too much support to anything that moves out of a certain safety zone, let's say. And because of our style and our methods and our passion that we bring to our projects, we definitely challenge the status quo to a degree. And as a result, you know, we have a harder time finding the support that we need. You know, these days, risk is almost a dirty word. But the reality is when you're making art or when you're just trying to make anything with any ounce of originality in it, you gotta have risk, because risk is the, it's the, it's the food that nourishes that creative vision. With any sort of art, you have to take risks. Not taking risks in art is like not having sex and then expecting there to be children. Well, Coyote is the second film in a trilogy of films that we're making. The first one was called Gaia, and we made that for a whopping $28,000. So Gaia validated our new creative and business models because not only was it made in such a new and creative way, but the finished film challenged the normal cinematic experience, and the proof was in the pudding. I mean, even though the film was outside this normal zone, Gaia was immediately picked up by a leading sales company and it was invited to premiere at one of the most prestigious film festivals in the whole world, the Toronto International Film Festival. And from there, it went on to win a lot of awards on the film festival circuit. So our concept was working. You know, there is a hunger out there for films that are outside the box. And in fact, I would go even further and say, there's more than a hunger, there's a need for these kind of films. Jane Shottle, who has been called one of the most important film festival programmers in all of North America, had this to say about the film. Gaia is an extremely moving, beautifully made film, and with its unique production background and budget, well, it pretty much epitomizes everything independent film should be. I think the film is one of the best U.S. indies I've seen in a few years. Along with these powerful visions, the originality in the storytelling, as well as the authenticity in every single performance in Gaia is what made it the special film that it is. Now, Harvey Weinstein, who's produced such films as Pulp Fiction, Shakespeare in Love, and King's Speech, recently said, the movie business is changing at the fastest pace it has ever changed. Yet some things will never change. Good stories, unique voices, and brave visions will always rise to the top. So after Gaia, from this foundation, from these brave visions, we attracted financial support to us. And from there, we ventured out to make the next film. Coyote Requiem is based on a true story. It's based on my truth, and my guess is it's based on your truth too. Because one of the greatest demons I think we have to face in our lives is that of our own mind. I think Shakespeare was pretty spot on when he said, you know, there is no right or wrong, but it's thinking that makes it so. And this is the main theme of Coyote Requiem. You know, there are several layers and themes within the film, but this is the one that drives the story forward. This is the one that, that pushes the beautiful but yet tragic Carmen to escape from her pain. But the reality is I don't believe that we can escape our pain because we are the creators of our own reality. So it doesn't matter where we go, where we hide or try and run away to, we all continue to create those realities. Now this is a universal theme. We all understand pain and we all know what it's like when we have to confront and face our pain. And how we deal with it will largely determine how much happiness we have in our lives. So Kaidu records a story that follows Carmen on her journey as she learns to choose courage over fear life over death and hope over despair. It's going to cost us $107,000 to finish Coyote just so we can play at film festivals. That money's going to go towards the color correction, the sound design, the music that we'll source, as well as the composition. Now I've got a personal goal around this whole Kickstarter thing. And I know we said the, down there that we're going for $107,000, but what I want to do is I want to raise more money than any film has ever raised on Kickstarter. Ever. 
Now, if these films have taught me anything, they've taught me that anything is possible. And $107,000, that is the bare minimum that we need to raise to get this film out there. So that's why we're coming to you. You know, we've gathered a family of support around us. Our creative family is what we like to call them. And now we want you to join that creative family. That's a beautiful thing about this Kickstarter. You could be in China, you could be in India, you could be anywhere, and you can join our family. So that's what we're asking. Join our family, help us continue to make films, help us finish this film, Coyote Requiem. So again, make a donation if you can. If you can't, pass it to your friends. Do both, that's really what we need. Donations and pass it along. We thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. We are so grateful for all the support that you've already given us and that you're gonna give us. Thank you. Thank you. Woo!